Hey guys, do you still remember this book, Girls in Tears, written by Jacqueline Wilson? Well, today I will read chapter 4. So are you ready? If you're ready, then let's get started on this book. Chapter 4. So guess what? Girls cry when... When what? We will find out. Girls cry when they hate the way they look. Yeah. Like some girls cry when they hate the way they look, like they, they are insecure of themselves. They think that they are ugly and not beautiful enough, but don't think that, okay? Let's start on this chapter, chapter 4. Russell is waiting for me outside our school. I spot him the minute Magda. Ned and I set foot in the playground. Russell waved and I waved back subconsciously. Lots of girls are staring. I feel silly with everyone looking, but proud too. I am thrilled that everyone's looking. I've actually got a boyfriend meeting me. He looks great too, even in his school uniform. I feel especially ultra hideous in mine. Despite all my efforts to look cool, I've got paint all down my sweater, and my skirt soles crumple, and my shoes are muddy from taking a shortcut across the playing field to the art hut, and I couldn't find any unlettered tight this morning, so I'm wearing childish socks that rock about my ankles. Loads of years, nine girls are peering at Russell, eyeing him up and down, seemingly impressed. Magda and Natin do not look impressed. Why don't you get him to have a haircut, Ellie? That flopping in the eye style is so last year. Magda says snipply, are you sure he's really year 11? He looks much younger. Said Nadim, I've never felt kind of right going out with a schoolboy. I know they're both just winding me up. They're not really serious, but it gets to me all the same. I think Russell's hair is fantastic. I would hate it if he cut it, I said, and I think he looks at least 16. How old is this wonderful new guy of yours, Nadim? What new guy? said Magda. Nadine looks mysterious. She taps her nose. Ah, ooh, so you suddenly both want to know? Well, he's 19. Oh, Natty, look, didn't you learn your lesson with Liam? I groan. Ellie isn't a silly loser like Liam, Nadine says. Alice? Yeah, Alice Travers. Cool name, right? So why does this ultra-cool 19-year-old Alice wanting to go out with a schoolgirl in year 9? I said as if I couldn't guess. Guess all you like, Ellie. I don't care. I care, though Russell is frowning at me, exaggerating his waves. He's obviously wondering why I'm not rushing over to him straight away. But I feel I've got to find out about this new guy of Nadine's. Why does she do this to me? Is he really 19, Nad? Magda asks. I can tell she's irritated too. She's the prettiest. She's the one who has shoot up heaps of boys desperate to go out with her. But all she's got is an on and off relationship with Greg, while I've got a proper boyfriend. And now Nadin has got a guy of 19. He's only five years older than me. It's no big deal, says Nadin. I hated that Nadin and Magda are 14 now. I'm still stuck at 13, which seems so much younger. And in my school uniform, I know I don't look a day over 12. Ellie! Russell is yelling at me now. I'll have to go. But Nadin is going round to Magda's for a fudge funeral service. She'll tell Magda all about this, Alice. I can't stand it if Nadin and Magda tell each other secrets and I'm left out. I stand there dithering. Russell gives me one last angry look. He jumps down from the school wall, about to stride off. I have to rush after him. I give Magda a quick kiss to apologize for my non-attendance at the funeral. I give Nadine a kiss too, to remind her we've been soul sisters since we were in nursery school, and we smear pretend red smarty blood 
over our grist, and that I need to be in on things when she tells all about this Alice. Alice, I thought Russell was posh enough. I am a bit fussed about meeting his dad. They live on the other side of town. They the posh side. Those houses cost a fortune. Okay, Russell and his dad and Susania, his dad's girlfriend, just live in the garden flat. But it's pretty fantastic. Russell doesn't even look round when I call after him. I have to run like crazy in my clumpy school shoes to catch him up. Hey, Russell, wait! What's up? I have to hang on to his arm before he stop. Oh, Ellie, goodness! I am visible now. I'm I. He says dead sarcastic. What are you on about? What did you rush off without me? We're going to your place, aren't we? Well, I thought so, but you seem more interested in hanging out about with your friends, having a lengthy natter for half an hour. Half an hour? Don't be daft. Half a minute, more like. But you can gab away to tell them all day long at school. You don't gab. Look, Russell, they're my friends. I don't know what you see in them. That Madden looks like she hangs upside down in a bat cave. And as for Magda. What about Magda? I said sharply. Well, she looks obvious. All that makeup and stuff, and her. Russell gestured at his chest with a roundabout motion. She isn't wearing any makeup today, and she can't help her figure. I wish I looked like Magda. I'm glad you don't. I like the way you are, Ellie. Says Russell, looking at me promptly at last. He looked down at my arm. My arm, still wearing my ring, he asked softly, "Of course I am. I'm never going to take it off." I said, "I can't confront him about the kids' comic. It doesn't matter anyway. I wouldn't care if it was made out of silver paper. I love it because I love Russell. It's such a relief he's not cross any more." He put his arm around my shoulder, giving my cheek a quick kiss. Some idiotic year seven girls run past giggling and wolf whistling, but I try to ignore them. Though I know I'm blushing. You've got lovely skin," said Russell. "I love your rosy cheeks." The whole world turns pink. Russell doesn't mind that I blush like a fool. He likes it. I haven't got lovely skin. Nasty little spots erupt all over the place, and my nose is so naturally shiny. You could use it as a mirror, though. I powder it quickly in the cloak rooms. Plus, dab on more decorant, tuck a brush through my hair, and clean my teeth. We walked along. Russell keeping his arm round my shoulder, I bit snugly under his armpit. You're so little, Ellie," he says, giving me a squeeze. I love being called little too. It makes me feel all weeny and cute and effin' instead of a dumpy roly poly dwarf. I love, love, love having Russell for a boyfriend. We've been going out together for weeks and weeks, and yet I can still barely believe my luck. I finger my ring. Maybe we'll stay going out together for months and months, then years and years, and one day change the ring for a real one. I've never felt like this before. Never. Russell isn't exactly my first boyfriend, but. Daftably old Dan doesn't really count. We were never much more than mates. We did kiss a bit, but nothing more. I suppose we had a few laughs together, but I never felt this whooping dizzy happiness. My lips can't stop stretching into a smile, and seeing Russell's name inside my head at every step. He's my soulmate, and all that I have. I hadn't realized up till now how lonely I've been. Ever since Mom died, I felt this emptiness inside. I've got Dad, of course, and I love him. I love Anna now. I even love eggs, but it's not the same. I've got Nadine and Magda, and they'll always, always be my best friends. But they're not the same as a boyfriend. We can have a great girly time together. But my heart doesn't pound if Nadine puts her arm round me. My pulse doesn't throb at the sound of Magda's voice. I love them both, but I'm not in love with them. 
I can understand Russell getting fed up because I spend so much time with them. But he only has got to look at me to see he comes first. First and last and all the stages in between. I snuggle closer still when he kisses the top of my head. Sorry, I was all huffy with you, Ellie. He whispered. Sorry, I kept you hanging about, I said. Come on, let's get over to my place, says Russell. He gives me a little hug. Dad and Sin will be at work, so we have it to ourselves for a good hour or so. My heart beats faster and faster and faster. So that's the end of this chapter, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye, guys. See you next time for chapter 5. Girls cry when... We'll find out. Bye.